ברוכים הבאים לדקדוק דקות. This grammar video is on the jussive form. What is the jussive, you ask? I'm glad you asked. The jussive is a form of the subjunctive in Hebrew that occurs in the second and third person imperfect forms. What is the subjunctive, you ask? I'm glad you asked. Subjunctive is uh, the mood of a verb that expresses desire, it expresses intention. In Hebrew, the, the subjunctive is expressed in a variety of different forms. One specific one, the jussive, is only second and third person imperfect forms. The jussive can express uh, the subjunctive in both positive and negative ways. So, positively, um, it would be like, let there be light. Negatively, it would be a negation or a prohibition. Do not, uh, do not do that. Do not touch. Do not turn. Uh, in, in Hebrew, the jussive form will, if it can, it will take a shortened form of the verb. Not always can it take a shortened form, and in those cases, context will determine whether it's the jussive or not, whether you want to translate it as a subjunctive or not. Uh, uh, often ways of translating subjunctive in Hebrew uh, or into English would be uh, using the word let or may. Let there be light. Uh, may we do something, something like that. Let's look at a couple of examples. Hopefully it'll make it a little bit clearer. The first example we have here is yihie. Yihie is the full third masculine singular imperfect form of the root he yod he, to be or to exist. The jussive form of that, which appears throughout the creation story in Genesis 1, is yehi. So you can see that the he on the end has, uh, has fallen off, has, has been removed, and the hyric on the beginning is shortened into a, a shiva. So this is a very shortened form. Yihie would be translated, uh, it will be, or he will be. Yehi is let there be, or let it be. Of course, yehi or let there be light, uh, the first word spoken in the Genesis 1 account by God, let there be light. Another example here is yashuv, yashuv, the third masculine singular form from shin vav bet. Uh, he will return. The jussive form is a shortened form of that. The vav disappears and you just get the holam. Yashov, let him return. And here we have uh, a simple prohibition, which is the, the negative jussive. And this usually is in the second person. And uh, ta'ase is our example. Ta'ase from the root ein sin he, to do or to make. Ta'ase is you will do. And the shortened jussive form in the prohibition is al ta'as. Al ta'as. So you see the, the the first two vowels remain, and the hay falls off the end. So you get that shortened form. Do not do. Uh, this comes from Genesis 22, the angel saying to, to Abraham, do not do anything to the boy. Don't touch him. Uh, another uh, sort of peculiar example of the jussive in the creation story and elsewhere is when you have a simple conjunction attached to the beginning of, uh, of a jussive like yehi that starts with a shiva. It creates the unique form vihi. You see this a couple of times in Genesis 1. It does this because of the shiva rules. So you can't begin a word with two consecutive shivas. Hebrew just will not, not stand for that. And so what happens is the first shiva uh, becomes a hyric. And in this case, the second shiva just disappears. And so you're left with v he, which simply means and let there be. And let there be. Simple conjunction attached to the jussive form yihi. 
And that's the Joseph. Lech Shalom.